Hey everyone, I'm Liza from Kid Museum, and in this video, we are gonna learn a little bit about how to create some paper and cardboard mechanisms. And so the mechanisms that we're gonna explore today are a series of levers that can create motion. So what you can see here is I have a couple of different levers and some pivot points, some movable joints that we created using a brass fastener. And so what's really cool about building this mechanism is that then I can move this lever side to side and create a waving motion. So what I need to make this is that I have my piece of cardboard. I already propped it up on a stand. And then I have three more strips of cardboard. And I'm using chipboard right now. It's just a little bit thinner. So on my first piece, I am going to punch a hole. I'm using a hole punch. You could make your holes with a pencil and punch a hole right at the end. This is going to be the piece that slides back and forth. On the next one, I need to make two holes. One will go all the way down at the end to connect to this lever. And then another one about halfway up. So, this is what I'm starting to create. The first thing I'm gonna do is take a brass fastener and attach these two levers together. I'm gonna stick the brass fastener through the hole that I punched, hold one leg up and one leg down. So now these two pieces move. So when these two pieces move, the last part I have to do is actually attach this lever to my base. So I'm gonna come in here, punch a hole, and then do the same thing. Take my brass fastener through here, open it to secure it. So now I'm starting to get there. I have this mechanism that allows these two joints to move when I move my lever. Now, you can see when I let go, this piece falls down, which is not the end of the world, but if I want my mechanism to move really smoothly, I'm going to attach one more piece to help keep it in place. You can attach this any way you want, but basically you want to attach the top and the bottom and leave just a window in the middle for our lever to move freely. And put one at each end. And then I'm gonna hold up my lever and secure this and this end above it. So now, my lever stays in line, and I can create that side-to-side -side motion on the top. So I had a hand waving on my example here. I made a little sun out of some pool noodle and pipe cleaners that I had laying around. And so now I'm going to create just another tape roll, attach my sun to the top of my lever, and now I made a machine that can have the sun rise and fall. This is one of my favorite things to do using paper and cardboard. And I now challenge you to think about how you can combine different levers to create different kinds of mechanisms. 